certainly a different situation now for the Steelers than it was a week ago after their loss in Baltimore. They need to beat the Browns on Sunday and hope the Jets lose to the Bills if they want to make the playoffs. I'm Brian Clark at Cinesport talking about this with Mark Caballi. He covers the Steelers for the Pittsburgh Tribune Review. Mark, how is the team reacting to the opportunity they squandered last week against Baltimore? Well, it's been a tough couple of days for them. Uh, they've had their uh, first practice, so to speak, on Monday. They normally give them days off after wins on Monday, but he brought them in uh, on Monday and had the locker room was open, and he just felt a different air. You could tell that they they let they realized that they let an opportunity be squandered right here. They know they're good enough to make a good and decent run in these playoffs, but the problem is, is now is who knows if they're going to get in or not. Short to go up in Cleveland and win like they've done hundreds of times before, if you don't get some help, uh, you know, a couple miles down the road in Buffalo, it's all in moot point anyways. So are they just looking at this trip to Cleveland as, hey, just go out and play and whatever's going to happen happens? What's the mindset headed to Cleveland? Well, the mindset is if we don't win, it, it doesn't really matter what, what happens in, with the Buffalo and, and the Jets game. So that's our number one focus right now. They have to find a way to go up to Cleveland and win. And uh, last week at this time, we thought that was you know a slam dunk. But you can't really take anything for granted. Now I would imagine there would be a little bit more uh, revved up for this game rather than uh, knowing what happened last game. I think they've won 13 of their last 15 season finales. But the problem is, like I keep saying, is they need help. And twice over the past five years, Tomlin has faced a, a situation where he needed to win and get help. They won, but they didn't get the help. So that's where they're really concerned at actually relying on somebody else to help them in the playoffs. Of course, relying on the Buffalo Bills. And we talked about overlooking the Ravens and whether or not they did is one thing. But looking at the Browns, safe to say they won't overlook them. But is there anything about Cleveland that worries the Steelers? Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to talk about the run game. And I know Cleveland doesn't have the best of running backs, but they do run some of that outside zone stretch scheme that the Steelers just seem don't know how to fix, don't know how to cover, don't know how to make plays on it. I mean, you saw last week against Baltimore. Uh, they did it, and they, Baltimore does the same offense in week four, and they lost that game. So the run game's number one. Mike Tomlin reference of has to be a half dozen times over the past two days about turning the ball over. When we turn the ball over, we lose. And when they win the turnover battle, they're 5-0. and So they're hoping not to turn the ball over, play their game. Steelers hoping for a win, and more importantly, some help from the Buffalo Bills. Mark Caballi of the Tribune Review. Thanks, Mark.